Hi, today we're going to show you how to use the Ventana platform to create AR filters for Facebook and Instagram. So log into the Ventana platform and I'm going to drop a new 3D file. You need to have optimization turned on. And I'm actually going to go into advanced settings and set the polygon limit to 50,000. That is the limit that Spark AR has. Next, you need to turn off Draco compression because it cannot handle this. It should in the future, uh, but for now, make sure it's off. Next, the texture compression needs to be 1K max textures. You could do lossless compression. However, you wanna make sure this is as small as possible. So I'm gonna stick with lossy and aggression of four because it has to be under three megabytes for Spark AR. Next, I'm gonna name it and you could fill in the other descriptions, but I'm gonna skip that for now and hit create. Now let's check that it looks good. That looks great. So now you go down and check GLB and download. GLB is the file type that you need. And you can see we're at three megabytes, which is great. So now let's open up Spark AR Studio. You will see they have lots of pre-made templates to make this easy, including a hat try-on, which we're gonna do. But feel free to explore all the different templates they have. I'm gonna skip this for now. And great, so you see they have a, a blue hat and it says drag here. This is where you wanna drag the 3D file. But first we need to import. So let's go to file, import from computer. I'm gonna grab that GLB that we downloaded. Great, and you see it appeared in the bottom left corner. So now I'm gonna click and drag that up to exactly where it says drag here. Perfect. Now we see our hat on top of the blue hat. So we need to right click and delete where it says delete me because that's that blue visor. Great, now we see just our hat. But as you can see, it's not quite sitting on his head the way it should. So if you click again on that dig hat, we can actually change the position. So you have X, Y, and Z axis. So you can always hit undo, so feel free to, to test out some different numbers. I want this moving forward on his head, so I'm gonna have a little bit less of a Z direction. And I think it needs to sit lower on his head, so I'm gonna reduce that Y position. I just hit enter after I type in. There we go, that looks good. And just to show you, you know, you can mess around with the numbers. Let's try one on the X. What does that do? So it moves the hat drastically. So that's why I was starting with a 0.05 or 0 0.04. But don't worry, you can just hit undo and it will go right back. So I think this looks great. Um, now in the bottom left, if you plugged your iPhone or similar phone into your computer, you could hit test on device and send it to your device to test out. But I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna go to file, upload and export. Now this will take a while to calculate the file size. Just leave your computer up. Once it's done, it's automatically gonna open up the Spark AR Hub. And this is where you can start creating your AR effect. So I'm gonna create the name, Hat Tryon. 
And I want this published to all platforms. You could just pick Instagram or Facebook if you prefer, but I'm going to do both. And then you'll see I have Ventana, my company profile, which is linked to my personal account. Um, you do have to have a personal account and a Facebook business page to do this. That's then linked to your Instagram business page. Uh, and then you have to choose a category. In this case, I'm going to choose selfie. And then you want to add keywords. This helps people find your AR filter. And next, you have to upload a video. So if you had done the test earlier and recorded on your phone, you could do that, but I did not do that. So I'm gonna hit save. And now test on device so that I can do a screen recording to upload. Now I'm gonna hit send to Instagram. You could send to Instagram or your Facebook account or copy the link and text yourself. Great, so now I'm on my Instagram and, it, and you can see it says test this effect, I hit yes. And now that hat is appearing right on my desktop. So I'm gonna turn it around, looks pretty good. <laughs> and now you're gonna hold down that middle button to record. I'm just moving my head around to make sure it stays on. Yes, by holding down. around, make sure it looks good, show people how it works. Great. And so now that I have that saved to my phone, I uploaded to my computer. And I'm going to choose that file. And you'll notice the keywords disappeared. So I have to retype those keywords in. Great. You can also replace the icon with a photo if you'd like. I'm going to leave it for now. And I would like it published as soon as possible. You could also set a time and date. And then you want to write some brief instructions on how to use the AR filter. And now I'll click Submit because we're all ready. And so you can come back here and check. So we're gonna hit review and it is in the review process. This could take up to 10 business days. Everything I've done has been way faster, but always check there and I hope you have fun.